I am very happy to have been EFRI's patron for many years. I have been impressed with the work of EFRI since I first came in contact with the organization in 1984. They have persevered in supporting the struggles of many oppressed peoples throughout the world. EFRI also consistently highlights the obscenity of the arms race, the wastage of resources on weapons, while so many go hungry in our world. Conflict. The vast majority of people here in Ireland do not want these wars, not in our name. You can't disassociate yourself because you're maybe a sanitised environment in a factory or, or an office somewhere in Dublin or Galway, as I say, and think this has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with me. If I am involved in making a weapon, that is going to kill somebody. Somebody, somewhere, has their fingerprints in this bullet that blinded me. I just would appeal to that spirit that we have in Ireland, spirit of generosity, spirit of kindness, spirit of peace. Do not get involved in this. in the Union Army and we had our orders for to go down to the southern border on the sands of Mexico where we call Thank you. 
part of the course, what we try to do is we try to teach students about the importance of knowing your history. What's quite amazing is that the site that this college where we're training people who are going to go out and be part of maybe making people's lives more meaningful and helping them get back on track in their own journey, that this same site was a place of hurt and pain and death 175 years ago. And it really brings it home to us. I want to thank AFRI first. They will be on the ground, I think, almost 50 years, in two or three years' time. It started in 1975, and this walk has been running just over 30 years. What they have done for me, and I hope for you as well, is that they have given us... I was going to, when I was thinking about this, they've given us a counter-narrative, and I thought, no, that's not what they have done. Counter is negative. It's too weak. What they have done is given us an alternative narrative an alternative vision and an alternative use of language in relation to what's happening in the world.